I have appeared from deep space. Ah! Welcome. Thank you. It's time for the Kindle take two, huh? Yeah, let's do it. You know, it, uh, it talks at you like it was Dr. Uh, Spazzo. Hey, what are you doing there? Shine it. Amazon is continuing to make electronic books easier and easier to read with Kindle 2. If you thought you couldn't get your favorite titles electronically, Amazon has over 230,000 ebooks available. Plus, you can download these anytime, anywhere using their 3G network. Faster page turns, longer battery life, and an improved display round out this revolutionary reader, all for 360 bucks. Now, according to the graphic you just saw, the way to get books onto this is to telekinetically fire <laughs> right. them into the device. Right, or, yeah, you have to call Chris Angel, and he magically right. shoots them into the screen. Um, and then this... you're hypnotized by his eight-pack abs. Oh, yes, and his affliction jewelry. Mm -hmm. Really, we could spend all day on, on Chris Angel, but instead, Who let's talk about Ed Hardy? <laughs> the Kindle, too. Right. Yeah. Uh, they definitely made this one thinner compared to the first Kindle. This guy is .35 versus the .7 inches that was the Kindle one. Uh, basically the same height and width. Uh, it looks cooler than the first one, but... Walk me through the process. Like, is it still just as easy to go download a book, purchase it, and, and read it on the... I didn't know that involved touching, but if that's part of the process, uh, okay. I want to walk okay. you through it, Tiger. Listen, for the most part, you just press menu to go to the Kindle store, and then type in the name of the book you want. Uh, in this case, we downloaded Too Fat to Fish by Audie Lang. Uh, I also downloaded uh, Act Like a Lady, Think Like a Man by Steve Harvey. Uh, <laughs> Now, the keyboard is a big improvement over the last one, mainly because all the keys are uniform, and it's pretty widely spaced. What about the new joystick thing, the little, little, little Kindle nubbin? Um, me no, no likey, me yeah, no likey really. nubbin. I mean, because the last one, they had a scroll wheel, which you could really jump to any part of a page or anything like that. I mean, this is, do you think this one's kind of annoying? It's really irritating, this uh, right here. It's because you really have to dig your finger in there to, to use it, and then yeah. you, can, you can strike it uh, incorrectly, and there's a lot of, there's, a lot, there, there, there's not a lot of room for error right there. Plus, mm -hmm. it's almost flush with the rest of the, 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 the thing here, so you, you kind of slide over All right, it like so maybe that. a step back on that front. I just saw a the screen flash back. again, yeah. which I've seen it do a thousand and one times. Yeah. It uh, still flashes for every page. Turn. I mean, I know the, the turns are quicker, but is the flash getting annoying to you? I feel like the flash is kind of irritating. It's just because when you see there, they can't put that much text on a page, so mm -hmm. you're going to be flashing a lot. However, it does happen faster, so you don't see it as much. They also made the next page button not as long, so you don't accidentally strike it. I know you said you had tons of problems the with first that. One, yeah. And almost even, uh, you, you said yours popped off sometimes by mistake. Uh, yeah, I mean, the, the, the buttons were, were definitely flimsy, and, and when it took up the entire side, you were accidentally pressing it all the time. So, right. I like the smaller button, but you're right, like the screen flash is just... They got it. They really got to work on that. I mean, until you go into some sort of a, an epileptic brain freeze because yeah, it exactly. flashes like, at your face. It was man. the sound of the chime, but at the at the sense of the seizure, that's when you turn the that's page. Now, you, exactly. Um, but at least once you've picked the book, Amazon's WhisperNet, it's their wireless service. It delivers it within a minute, and that still works like it should, right? That's right. When I downloaded "Act Like a Lady, Think Like a Man" <laughs> by Steve Harvey, uh, it, it it fired up in like a minute. They're basically piggybacking off Sprint's EVDO network, which is fast and completely widespread. I actually had a better signal in my house with the Kindle than. I did with my iPhone. Of course you did. Um, they've also added support for the normal 1X network, and just in case you can't get 3G coverage. And you can still download documents like Word and PDFs and all sorts of things, but you do, if you want to get them on here and wirelessly, you have to email them to your Kindle dedicated email. And that's not free, right? Ten cents a piece. Yeah. Ten, every so, time you download this. So I think they're trying to, to discourage uh, over, overuse right. of bandwidth. And discourage you from downloading Steve Harvey's Finest in PDF form and just emailing it to And then just watching it yeah. for ten cents. I mean, you know, overall, the wireless part is, is pretty great. Mm -hmm. And it works really well, uh, almost a little too well, which means you're going to spend money really quickly. Well, okay, well, here's the part of the Kindle that we don't necessarily love at all. The device itself, that little guy you're holding right there, yeah. 360 what? bucks. $360. Yeah, 360 bones. Uh, books are about 8 to $10 a peach piece, which is pretty good considering new books can cost right. 20 to 30 bucks. But right. 360 bucks. Well, there's no subscription fee, so they're, I guess they're building it into that. Right. I don't necessarily think it's worth it yet. I, my, my feeling is that, I, you know, I hear these rumors that Apple's working on some large larger than the iPhone type tablet mm -hmm. that will blow this out of the water of I mean listen this is so close to being a tablet you, it, as soon as you can manipulate files on it, maybe if there's a color screen, I mean, I know that's going to make that's going to compromise some of the battery sure. life. But ultimately, you know, I don't know if 360 is worth it. So I think right. we got to give it a rating. What's the rating here? What are we slapping? I'm on only going to give it three out of five. You okay. know, it's a big step forward for this device, but they really needed some sort of a touch screen and to make it uh, to, to really make it more accessible to everyone. All right, Chris, appreciate it. That Thanks, is all Kev. for Gadgetron, guys. Remember, for even more on the latest news on computers, games, and tech, check out g4tv.com/slash/thefeed.